everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to make a Halloween scene in Blender 2.9. So let's get on with the tutorial. Delete the cube and add a UV sphere. Rename the sphere to Pumpkin in the Outliner. Tab into edit mode. Select every other vertical edge loop. and then scale them in toward the center of the pumpkin. Select the top center faces. And scale them along the Z axis by zero degrees to flatten them. Then repeat this process with the bottom center faces. Select the entire pumpkin and scale it along the Z axis. Add a solidify modifier. The default will do for this tutorial. Then apply the modifier in object mode. Right click on the pumpkin and choose shade smooth. Tab in edit mode and select the edges that were scaled. Then deselect the parts of the edge loops that are touching the top and bottom flat parts of the pumpkin. Now add a small bevel to the remaining edges. Tap into object mode and apply the scale with control A. Tap into edit mode. Select the outer faces of the pumpkin. and temporarily hide them. Then select the inside faces. And duplicate them and then separate them using the P key. 
tab into object mode and then rename the duplicate this is going to be used to, for the light inside the pumpkin tab back into edit mode and unhide the rest of the pumpkin then temporarily hide the pumpkin light that we just duplicated select the top center faces of the pumpkin and separate them with the P key. This will become our stem. Tab into object mode. Select the stem and rename it in the outliner. Then tab into object mode. Inset the faces. and extrude them along the z-axis and scale the faces to the desired size select the extrude to cursor tool and extrude the stem as desired Then scale the edges and faces to achieve the desired look. Tab in object mode and apply the scale with control A. Let's now make the face of the jack-o-lantern. Add a plane and tab in an edit mode. Rotate the plane around the x-axis 90 degrees. Then scale the plane to the size of the eye you desired. Add a mirror modifier. For the mirror object, choose the pumpkin. Select the inner top vertex and pull it down toward the bottom vertex. Select the outer vertical edge, right click and choose subdivide. And move the new vertex to form the shape of the eye. Add a second plane, rotate around the x axis 90 degrees. Scale it to the size of one half of the mouth. Make sure clipping is off. And then move the two halves apart. Turn on clipping. And move the two inner edges. close together until they meet in the middle. Then add a few loop cuts and move the vertices and edges for the mouth shape.
Now move the eyes and the mouth into their positions in front of the pumpkin. Tab into object mode and apply the mirror modifier and add a solidify modifier and change the thickness so it intersects the actual pumpkin. Apply the modifier, select the pumpkin, add a boolean modifier. The object should be the plane. Use difference for the operation and apply the modifier. And delete the face. Now the pumpkin needs something to sit on, so we'll make some steps. Add a cube and scale it to the size of a step. Rename the object in the outliner. Tap into edit mode. And extrude the bottom face of the step. Then extrude the front of the step to form a bottom of a second step. Now in Blender 2.9, you need to hit the Y key twice to extrude in the local Y axis. Then extrude the back of the steps along the Y axis so we have some room for a door and a wall. And select the edges and add a small bevel. Have an object mode and apply the scale. Now we will make a simple door. Add a cube and scale it to the size of a door frame. Rename the object in the outliner and apply the scale. Tab into edit mode. Select the front and back faces and inset them to form the door. and extrude both of the inset faces in towards the center of the door frame. Separate the inset faces with the P key. Tab in object mode 
and rename the object in the outliner. Now we're going to make the door handle. Add a bezier curve. Rotate it around the y-axis 90 degrees and around the z-axis 180 degrees. And scale the handle to the desired size. And rename the curve in the outliner. Under the Data Object Properties tab, under the Geometry section, extrude the handle to the desired size. Right click on the handle and choose Convert to Mesh. Then add a Solidify modifier. and change the thickness to your liking. Then apply the modifier. And tab into edit mode. And select the edges of the door handle. and add a small bevel. Now tab into object mode and apply the scale. Then align the door handle to the door. Let's now make the door plate. Add a cube and scale it to the desired size for the plate for the door handle. Rename the object in the outliner. Tab into edit mode. Select the edges. And add a small bevel. Tab into object mode, apply the scale, and then align the plate to the door and the door handle. Now we will add a simple wall. Add a cube and tab into edit mode. Rename the cube in the outliner. And scale the cube to the desired wall size. Add a horizontal edge loop cut just to the top of the wall just above the door. Then extrude the new face along the X axis. Now just like the Y axis, you'll need to 
press X twice to extrude along the local axis. Add a vertical edge loop to the top part of the wall, just to the side of the door. And extrude the new face down along the other side of the door. Select the edges of the wall. And add a small bevel. Tab into object mode and apply the scale. Under the UV editing workspace, select all of the objects. Tab into edit mode. Make sure you have everything selected and unwrap the mesh using the Smart UV Project. Then export your UV layout. Now we're going to add materials to the objects. Under the shading tab, select the door. Then add a new material and rename it. Give it a wood color for the base color. I'm using the hex code 693C1C. Change your roughness to 0.9 and the metallic to 0.2. Then add a noise texture. Change the dimensions to 2D. Connect the color output to the roughness of the principal shader. Then change the option sliders as desired. I'm going to change just the distortion. I select the door frame and add a new material and name it. Give it a darker wood color for the base color. I'm using the hex code 38200F. Change the roughness to 0.9, the metallic to 0.2. And add a noise texture. Change the dimension to 2D. And connect the color output to the roughness of the principal shader. Then change your options as desired. I'm just going to change my distortion. Select the door handle, add a material, and name it. Give it a darker metal color. I'm using the hex code of 333333. Change the roughness to 0.3 and the metallic to 0.7. Now select the door plate, add a material and name it. And give it a lighter metal color. I'm using the hex code 808080. Change the roughness to 0.3 and the metallic to 0.7. Select the wall, add a material and name it, and give it a base color. I'm using the hex code 6A2B1D.
change the roughness to 0.9, metallic to 0.2, add a noise texture, change the dimension to 2D, connect the color output to the roughness of the principal shader, and then change your option sliders. I'm just going to change my distortion. Now select the steps, add a new material and name it, give it a base color. I'm using the hex code 818181. Change the roughness to 1, add a noise texture, change the dimension to 2D. Connect the color output to the roughness of the principal shader and change the options as desired. I'm again just going to change my distortion. Select the stem, add a material and name it. And give it a base color. I'm using the hex code 889D65. Change the roughness to 0.8, the metallic to 0.3, add a musgrave texture, change the dimension to 2D, and connect the height output to the normal of the principal shader. And then you can change the option sliders as desired. I'm just going to leave mine as the default. Select the pumpkin, add a material and name it. Give it a base color. I'm using the hex code FF7518. Change the roughness to 0.9, the metallic to 0.2, and the sheen to 1. Add a noise texture. Change the dimension to 2D. Connect the color output to the normal of the principal shader. Then change the option sliders as desired. I'm just going to change my scale and the detail. Now we'll work on the lighting. Select your point light and under the light tab, change it to an area light. Change the power to 150 and move it to the back of the scene. And rotate the light so it interacts with the scene. Duplicate the area light and move it to the front of the scene. And rotate the second light so it interacts with the scene. Change the power to 200. Duplicate the area light and move it to the other side of the scene. And rotate the third light so it interacts with the scene. and change the power to 250. Now choose the inside of the pumpkin that we had duplicated earlier. Add a new material and name it. Then delete the principled shader and add an emission shader. Connect the emission shader to the surface of the material output and change the color to a yellow orange. I'm using the hex code of FFA445. 
and change the strength as desired. Add a spotlight. Change the color to the same color as the inside faces of the pumpkin. Again, I'm using the hex code of FFA445. Then rotate and move the light so it is slightly behind the pumpkin. Make sure the light is facing out through the face of the pumpkin. And change the power. I'm going to change mine to 1000. And you can change the size. I'm going to change mine to 104. And make some adjustments. And then scale and move the light as needed. If you have a request for a tutorial or a question about Blender, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.